Today, I'm going to be swapping the careers of Justin Jefferson and Stefan Diggs to see how the NFL plays out. So, as you guys can see, Stefan Diggs is back on the Minnesota Vikings and Justin Jefferson is now on the Buffalo Bills. So as you can see, this is what the Bills offense is looking like. I mean, I feel like Jefferson and Allen are going to be a crazy duo, but that O-line could definitely use some work. But I mean, on the bright side, obviously the Bills have one of the best defenses in the league. So hopefully that can make up for the trash O-line. And on the other hand, this is what the Vikings roster looks like. I mean, obviously it's a bit of a downgrade adding Stefan Diggs, but he's still a solid wide receiver and we also have jordan addison on the other hand though i mean the vikings defense is super mid i really don't have anything positive to say about this so for the vikings i mean i'm thinking the offense is gonna have to do all the work it looks like that defense is probably gonna be allowing a whole lot of points but as you can see we gotta take on the tampa bay buccaneers in week one anyways i'm gonna try and hit digs to start things off here i mean we're gonna have to have one hell of a game because obviously the bucks defense is no joke i feel like people don't talk about them enough but they are oddly stacked and on the other hand i mean our defense is just total ass there's no question about it so baker mayfield i mean he's pretty inconsistent but if he actually plays good today they are probably gonna roll all over this defense anyways the bucks did bring up a third down after that so we need something here i'm just gonna run dragon spacings and hope that Diggs can get open and he's got it for the first so that keeps the drive alive i'm gonna run this boot flow play now if this works we're gonna be set up perfectly for a touchdown but i gotta be careful because this this is one that could easily be intercepted thankfully it's gonna work out so now we just need to get eight yards and we're in the end zone i'm just gonna try and go for the shallow cross play again i'm pretty sure it worked out the last time i ran it and this time it looks like it's gonna work again but we're one yard short so i'm just gonna hand it off to madison because i don't really feel like throwing it at the one yard line i mean that sounds like a recipe for disaster with oh that's not gonna work that's not gonna work we're getting blown up i mean as i said this defense is no joke and they're already rolling all over for us right now so i mean we might be doing all this for nothing i really need this to work out though please i'm just gonna kick a field goal because it's fourth down now i don't really feel like risking it i mean it sucks coming all this way just to get three points on the board but it's better than nothing on the bright side though i mean after that we did get the ball back and we're still only down by four points so if we can actually get a touchdown this time we're gonna have the lead i'm just gonna go for addison here and it looks like he's gonna hold on to it as you can see though i mean once again the bucks did bring up another third down so their defense is actually doing a number on our offense right now i need digs to get open and it looks like we're gonna find him to keep the drive alive and that puts us in position to score a touchdown so all i care about this time is actually getting in the end zone because obviously we got held to a field goal on the first drive but if we can score here i mean i'd say that probably will make up for it we're gonna find digs and we're gonna stay in bounds all the way to the four yard line as you can see though i mean once again no surprise for the fourth time today we're working off of a third down but this time it looks like we're gonna find digs in the end zone i mean he dropped the ball as soon as he got hit but it still counted for a touchdown so i'll take it so that's gonna put us out in front we actually have the lead now and after that the bucks forced ot but as you can see we're in position to win it now i mean as long as this field goal is good we're gonna sneak out of week one with a win and it looks like that kick is perfect so i mean it came down to the wire we're only gonna win by three points our defense was obviously a massive problem today but a win's a win so we're going to move to 1-0 and on the season so i mean stefan diggs and the vikings did their job with the week one win but now it's time to see if the bills can do theirs as you can see they have to play the jets in week one this is going to be a really tough game to win though because i mean obviously the jets defense is absolutely terrifying now and i also have pre-existing injuries turned off so they have aaron Rodgers. i mean thankfully on the bright side we did hold them to a field goal so we're only down three nothing so if we can actually get a touchdown on this first drive we're gonna have the lead and it looks like we're gonna find justin jefferson i mean don't get me wrong stefan diggs is obviously one of the best wide receivers in the league but now that josh allen and justin jefferson are a duo i'd say we probably have the best odds to win the super bowl i mean come on we're already seeing it to start this game off this duo looks unbelievable right now i'm gonna switch it up though and hopefully sharefield can get open that is gonna work out and it looks like he's gonna sneak in for the touchdown wasn't planning on getting that much 
much yardage on that play, but I'll take it. So that's going to give us the lead here. But as you can see, we're back out here in the third quarter. As you can see, once again, we're down by three points. The Jets are doing a number on this defense. I mean, honestly, it's more their defense is playing well because neither of these teams have scored a whole lot of points. Moral of the story, we are losing right now. So we got to make sure we get something done on this drive so we can get the lead back. I mean, I probably could have gone for Knox there, but I'm just going to go for Hardy. It looks like that's going to work out. So, I mean, considering we only need one yard for the first down, I'm going to try and go for a shot with Justin Jefferson. I mean, this is 50-50. Oh, dude, I'm going for this. This might actually work. It looks like he's winning the foot race, and we're going to catch it for the touchdown. That was a crazy grab right there. I mean, I don't want to say that Diggs couldn't have done that, but obviously Jefferson is faster, so I feel like that's a Jefferson special right there. I mean, just like the Vikings, we're only going to win this game by one score. 31 to 27 to final, but I mean, a win's a win. So both teams did their job. Vikings and the Bills are going to be 1-0 and on the season, but I mean, after that, it's time to test these teams, because now we're going to see who can win a Super Bowl today and who can't and I mean as you can see it looks like the Bills had themselves one hell of a season they're gonna go 13 and 4 to win the division and they have to play the Colts in the wild card round and I mean it looks like Josh Allen and Justin Jefferson were one hell of a duo because he finished the season with 1500 yards for 10 touchdowns on the other hand I mean the Vikings were nothing but a disappointment they went 6 and 11 to finish dead last in the division and I mean as you can see Stefan Diggs on the Vikings is not as great as you'd think he would be he had 967 yards for only five touchdowns but as you can see it looks like the bills are going to beat the colts in probably the most boring game in nfl history but now they got to play joe burrow in the Bengals, and it looks like this time josh allen's going to finally get his revenge so now we have to play patrick mahomes for a trip to the super bowl this game is always an absolute war so we're going to need to get off to a hot start here i mean our defense did get a stop to start things off so the chiefs did not score which is definitely nice because now we we have a chance to actually have the lead here i mean i don't know if we're going to be able to hold on to that it's going to be it's going to be difficult to even get in the end zone against a defense like this but we're going to find hardy for the first down i just want to get into a good position here though so i'm going to go for another run with Hines here i'm pretty sure cooks out because it's not giving me an option to run with him again that's another first down and some though after that though i mean the chiefs did bring up a third down so that's the first time they have a chance to get a stop this game i'm going to rely on jefferson and it looks like that's intercepted oh what was that man he got off his route i don't know what the hell happened there i mean that looked like a sure thing but he kind of just slowed down once i threw the ball at him and as you can see after that the Chiefs scored a touchdown it looked like we were having one hell of a drive to start the game off and then in one play things all went to shit i'm gonna give jefferson a chance to redeem himself here and it looks like he's gonna hold on to the ball this time so that brings it all the way to the 50 i'm gonna go for another big play of jefferson here and hopefully this can catch the defense off guard i mean they only got one man on him, and it looks like he's winning the foot race, and he caught it again. I mean, now, as long as we don't throw another interception or something, I'm hoping we can get in the end zone. I'm going to put this in the air here, and it looks like Jefferson's going to hold on to it again for the touchdown this time. So that's going to tie the game up. I would like to have the lead, but at least we're not losing anymore. But, I mean, as you can see, after that, things did not exactly go as planned. So once again, Patrick Mahomes is going to get the best of Josh Allen in the playoffs. So the Bills are going home. I mean, that's a disappointing way to end off the season, but we did have one hell of a run. But as you can see, it looks like Dak Prescott, out of all players, is going to win MVP this season. And somehow the Cowboys also made it all the way to the Super Bowl, but they lost to the Chiefs. So once again, Patrick Mahomes is getting another ring, which really is not surprising. But anyway, that brings us to the offseason. The Bills were $45 million in the negative. So they lost a bunch of players, including Micah Hyde and Gabe Davis. But as you can see, the Vikings had a lot of money. They lost Hunter, but they got him back in free agency. And they also picked up Gilmore, Wagner, and Delvin Cook. On the downside, as you can see, we lost Kirk Cousins, so we're working with 58 overall Jaron Hall. So, I mean, until they get that quarterback situation solved, I'd say it's going to be another very interesting season for the Vikings, but the Bills should still be in good hands. As you can see, once again, the Bills had one hell of a season, going 16-1 and to win the division. Somehow, they still have to play the Pats in the wild card round, because as you guys can see, somehow, the Kansas City Chiefs managed to go undefeated, meaning we are probably going to have another problem that i'm not excited to deal with in the afc championship game if we make it that far but as you can see jefferson finished with 1200 yards for five touchdowns which is
which is a bit of a downgrade from last year. And as expected, the Vikings crashed very hard this season, going 4-13 and to finish dead last in the division once again. And as you can see, again, Diggs had another underwhelming season with 995 yards for only two touchdowns, so there really isn't anything good to take out of the Vikings this year once again. But as you can see, the Bills took down the Patriots, so we have a rematch against Joe Burrow again. And as you can see for the second time today, the Bills are going to take down the Bengals, so we have to play Patrick Mahomes for a trip to the Super Bowl for the second time today. I mean, as you can see, we're already off to a terrible start here. I'd be lying to you if I told you I had faith in this game, because we went 16-1, and that's one hell of a record, but we're already down 14 nothing. and the only game we lost was two to Kansas City Chiefs, so clearly we're already having a problem beating them today. We're going to find Jefferson for the first down, though. I mean, on the bright side, if we do somehow manage to score on this drive, we will be back in this game, but the way Patrick Mahomes has been playing lately, he's probably going to score every time he gets the football, and that's intercepted. I don't know what happened there. That looked like a perfect pass, and Hardy was wide open, but it's going to turn into a pick six. I mean, honestly, our chances of winning this game might have just gone out the window there. I'm going to try and go for a shot with Jefferson here, because we need to get points, and we need to get points fast. I mean, again, looks like he's winning the foot race. So on the bright side, that brings the ball all the way to the 22-yard line. We gotta make sure we get something done here. I mean, I don't even know if I'd say we're back in this game if we score, but it will be a bit more doable. And as you've noticed, I mean, for some reason, Kincaid is playing wide receiver right now, and uh, that's probably because Gabe Davis is not on this team anymore, but we're gonna find him for the touchdown. At least we're gonna get some points this game, but we're still down by two scores, so I don't think we're gonna be able to win this. I mean, as you can see, no surprise, the Chiefs got the win. We did start to come back, but the game was too far gone. So once again, for the second season, season in a row we're gonna be going home because of Patrick Mahomes anyways after going 17 and 0 I thought Mahomes would have got MVP but apparently it's going to Lamar Jackson and I mean as you can see for the second season in a row the Chiefs are gonna take down the Cowboys in the Super Bowl but anyways once again the Bills are kind of short on cash this season so we're going to be losing quite a few players here. But anyways, the Vikings actually had some money to work with this season. So to upgrade the defense, we picked up Micah Hyde, Shaq Thompson, and Michael Pierce. Obviously, this team still desperately needed a quarterback, though. So we gave the Cardinals Phillips, Canty, and O'Neal. We also threw in a first-round pick and second-round pick. But in return, we're going to get Kyler Murray. I mean, after all those upgrades for the Vikings, I'd say they actually have a shot at winning the division this season. If not, they should at least make it to the playoffs as a wild card team and unfortunately after losing a bunch of players this season the bills fell off going eight and nine unfortunately they did not make the playoffs which is kind of weird to see because that team was still very stacked but as you can see jefferson kind of bounced back this season with 1200 yards for 13 touchdowns but as you can see it's looking like this actually might be the year for the vikings to go off because they went 13 and 4 to win the division but they do have to play the eagles in the wild card round and with kyler murray at quarterback digs five finally had a 1,000 yard season with 1,011 yards for four touchdowns. But as you can see, it looks like the Vikings finally got a playoff win with the three point win over the Eagles. So now they have to play the Falcons and it looks like they also took down the Falcons with an eight point win. So now they have to play the 16 and one Dallas Cowboys for a trip to the Super Bowl. I mean, this is going to be one hell of a test for us though, because the Cowboys have also made the Super Bowl two seasons in a row. I'd like to stop them from making it for a third. I mean, that's a decent run from Dalvin Cook. Okay, never mind, bro. I thought we got like five yards there, but apparently we only got two. So it's third and eight now because the Cowboys brought up a third down after that. This defense is already being a problem. We almost got smoked by Micah Parsons, but we're gonna find Addison. As you can see though, the Cowboys brought up another third down after that. So I'm just gonna try and go for Addison here and hopefully, actually Hawkinson's wide open. We're gonna get the first down to keep the drive alive. I don't know if this is the best move at the six yard line, but I feel like we're probably Probably not going to be able to get the run going against this defense. So I'm just going to try and hit digs here. That, oh, that might work. Come on. Last second. We're going to catch it, but we're one yard short. One yard shouldn't be too difficult. I have faith in Delvin Cook here. I mean, Micah Parsons might be on our ass. And once again, we're getting stopped. So it's fourth down. I did not come all this way to kick a sorry ass field goal. So I really hope we didn't do all this for nothing, but I'm going for it on fourth down. Come on, Cook. Please, bro. I am begging you. Get in the end zone. We're getting shut down. That was all for nothing. I mean, thankfully, the Cowboys did not score after that. 
that they had pretty tough field position there so we got the stop i'm just gonna try and go for addison here i mean it looks like he's actually open again so that's another first down after that though i'm gonna try and go for a shot with stefan Diggs. i mean if he's locked up i might be able to go for the fullback that's probably not gonna work Diggs, please get that thank you as you can see though i mean the cowboys did bring up another third down after that so this defense is really doing a number on us today i'm gonna try and go for Diggs here it looks like he's gonna hold on to it after a huge hit so thankfully we're not getting held out two times in a row so we're actually in this time that's gonna give us the lead first here but the way the cowboys are playing it's gonna be difficult to score more touchdowns and i mean as you can see apparently that's gonna be the only touchdown we scored today the cowboys scored 15 points so we did pretty good on defense too but in the end they are going to the super bowl for the third season in a row it seems like neither of these teams can get past the championship game but as you can see once again lamar has won another mvp and for the third season in a row it was chiefs versus cowboys in the super bowl but this time the cowboys are going to sneak out with a one point win but that brings us to another free agency the vikings had to franchise tag stefan Diggs, so they did not have any money to work with the team still stacked though they didn't lose anyone on the other hand the bills had some money to work with so they got thuny and they also picked up romeo dobbs the bills have kind of gone downhill since the start of this video but they're definitely still a playoff team and on the other hand the vikings are the best they have ever been so i'm hoping this can be the first season that they both make it to the playoffs and it looks like the bills bounce back this season going 14 and 3 to win the division they got to play the raiders in a wild card round and i mean once again it looks like jefferson had another solid season with 1300 yards for seven touchdowns as you can see on the downside though it looks like the vikings crash so once again they are not making the playoffs and Diggs had another very disappointing year with 888 yards for four touchdowns so this team has been nothing but disappointing so far but it looks like we're gonna escape with a two-point win so now we have to play the jags and it looks like we're gonna take down the jags so now we have to play the ravens who took down patrick mahomes and the chiefs for a trip to the super bowl i mean don't get me wrong the ravens are obviously gonna be a tough matchup their defense is ridiculous they also scored first so we're down seven nothing i'm just happy we don't have to play the chiefs again though i mean it seems like every time we play patrick mahomes bad things happen so we have a chance at making the super bowl this year we're gonna need to take full advantage of this opportunity though somehow we're still up but we're getting sacked and as you can see the ravens scored again after that this team might just not be built to make it to the super bowl i mean it seems like we almost make it to the afc championship every season but it, like we lose every time there we have not won once yet i mean if we score on this drive at least we're back in this game but so far things are not looking good for us i'm probably gonna try and go for newsome here actually dawson knox is wide open and he's got some field so that's a first down i'm gonna try and go for a shot with justin jefferson here though i mean i have a feeling this probably won't work but actually the last couple times this has worked out for a touchdown this time we're gonna win the foot race once again and we're in the end zone so, i mean at least we're on the board here we are still down by seven points but justin jefferson has been amazing so far i mean as you can see since then lamar has done quite the number on us so 15 yards to go and we're back in the end zone i'm just gonna keep it on the ground for now because i really don't want to throw an interception obviously we cannot afford that get going what a run so now we just need two yards i'm gonna put it in the air here but that's because i really trust justin jefferson he's pretty good with this play right here <laughs> looks like we're getting sacked though so that really messes things up we got to put it in the air again and it looks like it's gonna be intercepted and that's probably gonna be game i mean this has been an absolute shit show the ravens defense has been dominating us today and we're gonna miss so he's bringing it all the way to the house i mean this game is clearly over at this point i'm gonna try and go for jefferson again here i want to get one more touchdown to end off the season because i'd say it's a pretty safe bet that we're not going to be making it to the super bowl at least we're going to get another touchdown so we got 14 points on the board but i mean there is no chance in hell that we are going to be coming back today so it looks like we're going to get annihilated on our home field so once again the bills are going home in the afc championship game i mean it's kind of a curse at this point and it looks like patrick mahomes is going to be winning mvp this season and after beating us it looks like the ravens are going to take down the Panthers in the super bowl so lamar finally got himself a ring but other than that if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe it really help out the channel and if you have any video ideas feel free to drop them down in the comment section below i'll try to get to as many of them as i can and while you're down there comment the most random thing you can think of so we can confuse everybody in the comment section but other than that i'll see you guys in the next one peace out